Hey everybody, this is Jeremy with Families for Sensible Drug Policy and the Southeast Harm Reduction Project, aka Sharp. I've got my friend Rodney here. He's helping us out with this naloxone series. Today we're going to be talking about the FZO Auto Injector. It's a really simple device. Talks you through the whole process. Uh, this should only take a few minutes, so stick around. You're going to want to watch this. Today we're talking about the FZO Auto Injector. It's an uh, automated device. Uh, you through the whole process. A lot of people compare it to an EpiPen. Uh, really easy to use. It's responsible for saving a lot of lives. Today Rodney's going to be playing our overdose victim. He's taking a little too much. Uh, he, he's out. In some of our other videos we talk about what opioids are, the signs and symptoms of an opioid overdose, and the naloxone access and medical amnesty laws in the different states. I'm going to put some slides up here just to remind everybody, and we're going to spring into action to help save Rodney. So, step one, as always, call 911. Depending on the laws in your state, you don't have to say the person's overdosing. You might not want the police to show up. Uh, do be advised that in many states, police are equipped with an naloxone, so they can actually save a life. And here in Georgia, law enforcement's been responsible for at least 50 overdose reversals. So, educate yourself about the laws in your state. Step two, check their breathing. Uh, if they're not breathing, you're going to want to give them a little bit of rescue breathing. Just tilt their head back, pinch the nostrils, and just a little breath. Uh, about every four to five seconds, three to five breaths, just to get some oxygen into their system because their brain's really starved for oxygen. And then step three is give them naloxone. Uh, I lost my trainer, so I got to dig in my goodie bag for it. I've got about oh, I've got about 300 of these things. This is what the training device looks like, and each kit comes with one trainer and two of these live naloxone kits. Uh, the only difference is uh, this doesn't contain a needle and doesn't contain naloxone. This does contain naloxone, and you can see it right here uh, in this clear part. Uh, and it does contain a needle, but you never see the needle. It, it retracts automatically. It'll save Rodney's life. Uh, Take the cap off. This trainer contains no needle or drug. <clears throat> Talks you through the whole process. If you are ready to use, pull off red to inject. Place black end against outer side. And it's side. impossible to mess Press this up. The first time I did this, seconds. I messed it up. I forgot to push. Watch. To inject. It's going to remind you. So... After you hear that beep, uh, it retracts the needle so you never see it. You don't have to worry about a disease transmission or anything like that. And as you can see, Rodney's back. He's good as new. Um, if you don't get a response in one to two minutes, go ahead and give a second dose. Um, that second dose should be enough to pull them out of it. If it doesn't, hopefully by then uh, medical help is there. And you always want to call for medical help because naloxone only lasts for about 30, 60, maybe 90 minutes. Uh, and they can go back into that overdose. Uh, and you don't want that to happen. So thank you, Rodney, for helping us out. Again, this is the FZO Auto Injector from a uh, company up called Kaleo. And they do have some programs for people to get a free kit if you do have insurance. If you don't have insurance, you make it below a certain amount. Uh, there's usually a way you can get these. And if not, you can get them through a uh, harm reduction organization in your area. And as always, I'll include that information below. Our next video is going to be on the naloxone intramuscular injection, and that's going to wrap up our little naloxone series. We're going to be producing a lot of important, informative content really quickly, so go ahead and click on that subscribe button below. You're not going to want to miss any of these videos. And uh, for me and Rodney, as always, stay safe, practice harm reduction, and thanks for watching. Peace.